Superstar! Superstar! That seems a little more reasonable on the volume, doesn't it? All right, cool kids. Yes. Is it recording? It is recording. We're a minute in. Let the fun begin. Woo. I got a new camera, new phone, new life. Yeah. Ha, ha. So today, guys, we're going to do a quick, short, down and dirty video. We're going to talk about one of the coolest, neatest ways to uh, store your uh, silver and silver accessories. Yeah. And that way is uh, with rolls. Yeah. So a lot of people, many silver and silver co uh, accessory collectors ask, well, how do you store your silver, Mr. Uh, addicted to minis? And the answer is, however I want. But sometimes when the mood strikes me, I will put them in delicious coin rolls like this, okay? And delicious coin rolls are a fine way to keep your silver and silver accessories safe, cozy, and warm, and uh, delicious. Delicious. And uh, let's look at some of this ooey gooey AG goodness. So I got a whole roll of this stuff, this kind of stuff here. These are your good two and a half golden coins. And if you remember, they're about a six tenths of an ounce, so about the same as a Canadian dollar. Um, and um, some of these are from uh, the Antillen, so the Netherlands Antilles. Other ones still are from uh, the Netherlands proper. So let's check it out. Now, um, a lot of these coins are actually pretty rare, a low mintage rather, it would be a better way to put it. But, that's okay, that's okay. Um, they're in a roll, we like a roll, roll it up, you know, like a joint. But most of these are from the 1964 uh, Netherlands Antillen type. Um, but I also have some others, I'm gonna see if we can pour those out here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so here's an example. This is uh, from 1970, and it's uh, just the two different portraits of uh, the Queen Juliana. Boop, boop, okay. And that's cool, those are cool. And then uh, there's this one, this is variety here. Now this is from 73. And it's uh, it's a pretty cool coin. Lots of cool minty fresh coins here. Um, the point being, guys, I think I have some older ones in here too. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. So, and they're minty fresh too. So this is a 1944 Wilhelmina uh, war issue coin. Yeah. So that's cool. Anyway, the point being, guys, you can get coins and rolls. And the cool thing about rolls is, is one, you know how many coins fit in a roll. Don't get me wrong, I've seen shenanigans, but typically speaking, you know how many coins are in the roll, okay? Because that's how many will fit in there. And so you know how much silver you got. Now these are, uh, I think it's like 0.56 something, 5.8 something. It's almost six tenths of an ounce per coin. So, you know, you got 20 coins in there, right? You know exactly what you got. You can do the math. So, you know, if uh, duty hits the fan, for example, you don't want a dicker. You know, well, I got, you know, 12 ounces of silver here, right? give or take, yeah? I go like this, I say, hey, that's 12 ounces of silver, I'll trade you that for an ox, okay? I don't have to dicker. They can open it up, they can look at it, and they say, oh, those are cool, good, and the good ones are good and red, or they can be like, I don't take that foreign crap, dude. So, you know, take that, 
a roll of bogus BS and stick it where the sun don't shine, right? And then I try a, a roll of Canadian uh, quarters or dimes, which I have rolls of those. Or I try a roll of, uh, I got Walker half rolls, Benji half rolls. You know, it all depends, man, uh, on how picky people are and how, you know, how, uh, how much they know about silver. I mean, I got this under melt. So, you know, it is what it is. They'll either take it or they won't. I bought because it it's cool, the cool factor. But uh, I also have a roll, uh, I think I have one roll of ASEs, which is, it doesn't sound like a lot, but for me that's a lot. <laughs> I got uh, two rolls of, uh, no, I got two rolls of ASEs and two rolls of uh, Canadian maple leaves. That's it. Yep. And I got a whole bunch of just uh, BS stuff and rolls. I got uh, five Posada coins from Spain from the 1800s. I got rolls of those. Like li like just like this is a roll. Um, yeah. And I, you know I like the incused letters on the, the edge of the coin. And the, the Spanish coins have those too. So it's really cool. Um, I guess my point is, is you can put anything in a roll. You can roll it up and smoke it. But I don't suggest that because, you know, you have to get pretty hot metal to to really smoke it up and uh, it's just not good for the the you know tradeability of your uh, silver and silver accessories if you know you're they're not recognizable I think now I could be crazy look at the maw on that purple worm slash dole I feel like it's gonna swallow us and eat us whole all right don't you know so there's some stuff. I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? Talk to me. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what you want to talk about. Uh, silver, silver accessories. Uh, we got miniatures for days. All the miniatures. Um, all the fun stuff we got. You can uh, tell me about it. Or tell me where to go with myself. Tell me how boring I am and how poor I am at making these videos. How garbage they are and how I should probably just uh, stop. But you know what? It's cool is I never got paid a dime for doing this. So, like, there's no world where I'm going to care what you have to say if it's uh, not constructive. You know what I mean? Like, there's no world where I'm going to be like, oh, my God. Oh, I, I just want to cry because they said something mean to me. I, yeah. <laughs> that world doesn't exist. But, you know, you could take these, right? This stuff here. You could literally take all these out and just, if you had enough of these, and just roll them up and, and put them in tubes. And that's all rolls are, really. You got paper tubes, you got plastic tubes, or you're putting them in tubes. Um, and what's the advantage of that, you know? What's the real advantage of that? Well, I know what the advantage is, and so do you. It's space. So, you know, this big old, you know, proofy goodness set here um, that I paid $75 for, right? Can you tell which ones are silver and which ones aren't? Come on, cool kids. I showed you how. Can you tell? I can tell just by looking at them. Can you tell which ones are silver and which ones aren't just by looking, guys? Just look at it. Just look. It's... Okay, anyway, back to the point. The point is, if I really wanted to store these like a boss, I, and I had a bunch of them, if I had enough of them, right, what I would do is I would put them in rolls, right? Because, again, it, it, you know exactly how much silver is in a whole roll of something. You know exactly how many coins you got, right? And if it's a partial roll, you'll be able to see that because the roll won't be full. And nobody wants a non-full roll. I mean, my goodness, we're not animals here. You ever been to Trinidad and Tobago? Me neither. So which coins are silver? Which coins are not? Tell me in the comments, guys. Make me proud. Show me the way, show me the way to tell if it's silver or copper nickel today. Yes, show me the way, Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys. Anyway, I can go on and on all day talking about this stuff, but you get the point. How do you store your silver and silver accessories? And do you have a preferred method? Is there a way that's uh, inferior? You know, I've seen some people, they'll take take their silver, 
I've, I've seen this, guys. Um, not calling anybody out or anything, but they'll just take their, their silver and throw it in a freaking, uh, like, uh, glass uh, vessel, like a vase or something, or a, a jar, you know. Throw it in a jar, mason jars, whatever. And they don't put what they paid for it. They don't know. And you know what? If SHTF happens, I, you know, I totally get it. It doesn't matter how much you pay for it. But if you're an investor, right, you might want to know what you paid for it just so you can uh, get back what you paid or know how much you lost, right? Um, if you're a collector, you definitely want to know what you paid for it because you might be like, ooh, I, uh, Dad paid a lot for that. Maybe it's maybe it's a rare collectible. Maybe that's something I want to, you know, maybe uh, not sell it spot. You know, stuff like that. So I don't know, guys. I'm just thinking aloud here. I'm trying to think outside the box. Uh, does it matter how you store your stuff? And if it does, what are the factors we really need to look at? Now, personally, I think, uh, like I just said, I just covered some of it. You want to label your stuff, man. You want to know what you paid for your stuff. You know? Um, that roll of uh, Netherlander coins. If you look, uh, there was that piece of paper in there. On that piece of paper is exactly how much I paid for that whole roll. You know, but, uh, you know, there's a million ways you could do this, guys. That's the point. There's no one right way. There's a million not wrong ways. <laughs> um, but, ooh. <laughs> man down, man down. You know, is this a good way to store your stuff? Like this? In the original box? You know, a lot of people want to keep everything in the original box with the original um, COA, remember that? Isn't that sweet? Cayman Islands. Oh man, that's nice, isn't it? But the thing is, no one cares about your original packaging. No one cares about that. Unless they're a collector. Well, if they're just looking at this for the giant hunk of silver it is, they don't care. Um, that's one thing I've noticed about a lot of these old proof sets from, uh, Franklin Mint and all this. No one cares about how rare they are. Even some of these are really rare. Like, look at this really cool old medal from uh, Israel. Official state medal of Israelis everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is celebrating the liberty of Judea, if I remember right. And this is Sterling Silver. Very, very big, chunky hunk of silver, actually. Um, Anyway, pretty rare piece and uh, very uber cool. Um, but nobody's gonna care. They don't care. They don't. They, they don't. They don't care if you have the original box. They just want to know how chunky that silver is, man. Um, so you could literally, if you had enough of those, you could put them in a roll. Yeah, you know, I paid big money for this proof, only because I had the uh, non-proof, and I was like, might as well have the complete set. <laughs> That's silly. I know, I know. I didn't pay that big of money for it. I think I paid uh, five bucks over spot, but that's not the point. The point is, the proof's actually pretty rare. No. All right. Ooh. Ooh, this is a chunker. How many of these would go in a roll? Huh? Man, this thing's freaking... I think this was like, what, like four ounces of silver? I think... Damn near four ounces of silver on this coin. Maybe more. Oh, actually, it'll say right here, I think. Let's look. Um, hell bells. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, 2,100 grains of sterling silver. Ooh! Ooh, it's a chance for us to do Silver University! Um... So you guys remember how to do that, don't you? How to calculate your grains into ounces? Yeah. Um, well, anyway, if you don't, go to my channel. I'm not going to do it because, uh, quite frankly, we're running out of time. But um, go to my channel, and you can see exactly how to do that. I show you exactly how to do that. But it's 4.04 uh, troy ounces is the answer. Uh, 2100 grains of sterling so the first thing you gotta do is multiply 
uh, the number of grains by 0.925, and then you do the conversion, the formula that converts grains to troy ounces. And uh, yeah, 4.04 ounces is what that comes to, which is a uh, nice chunky coin from Jamaica. Model. And uh, guys, I think that covers it for today. Um, store your stuff right, man, and it'll it'll do you right. Uh, you want to be able to, you know, you want everything to be clearly marked, I think, and the prices, you need to know what you paid for it. You need to know what it is. That's, that's the main thing. You need to know what it is. You need to, because you may not remember every single thing you purchased. You can't, we can't all be dragons with hordes, you know. Some of us are just people, man. Uh, not polymorph dragons, okay. So, um, if you're uh, if you're one of these folks that's got an identical memory and you can just memorize everything, okay, don't mark it. But you know what? When you perish, when you shed the mortal coil, I know you may not care, but your family might. When they're selling uh, stuff to people like me at below melt, that's super rare. You know, uh, not that I do that. To you know what I'm saying? Not that I do that, but I'm just saying, like, there are people out there buying stuff every day, cheap, because of people who don't mark their stuff. Anyway, have an amazing day. Store your stuff safely and find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. I gotta get some sleep. Peace out.